Hi guys, how's it going? I'm back today with another video looking at some of the recent additions to the Tab Refuse collection. So without further ado, let's open these up and take a look. First up, we have a user handbook for the 84mm Carl Gustav. Slightly rusted, that's a good sign. Really great shape otherwise. This one comes from uh, 1968. And it covers instruction, data, the gun, sighting arrangements, loading and firing, general stripping, subcaliber adapter for training, ammunition, and there's an aiming shot at the end as well. Lots and lots of illustrations. Always good. The gun, the 84mm infantry anti-tank L14A1, is the breech-loaded and percussion-fired type. There is no recoil as gas pressure escaping rearward through the Venturi equalises the recoil forces. The weapon can be fired from the standing, kneeling, sitting or prone position. It may also be fired from a fire trench. A gun mount which can be housed either in the gun butt or on the front grip supports the weapon in the prone position. The mount can also be used as a stabiliser against the chest for the fire in other positions. Should be that piece. Great diagrams, really great diagrams. Turn the breach mechanism and lock up in the Venturi. Fire mechanism, the, the mount, the sight unit, sights, disassembly and servicing. And there's the round, heat round, the shape charge. Practice round. Illumination. Fuse. Types, ammunition carriage, aiming shots, and there we go. So this one's really exciting. This is a original 1986 manual for the Milan launcher, the uh, British Army's uh, anti-tank guided missile of the 1980s into the 90s, which was eventually replaced by Javelin. We'll take a proper look at this in a future video, so I'll just flick through here uh, and not take too much of a detailed look. But there's loads of really interesting information in here, which will inform uh, future videos on Milan itself as well. Some really nice diagrams, including this one that explains the missile's basic guidance system.
these I'm excited about. Slowly collecting Bundeswehr manuals, various arms as well. Although they're not a priority. Definitely keep an eye out for them when they come up. So in this package we've got a German manual for the G3, the Gewehr 3, and a, a copy of the British Army's 1958 manual for the Browning High Power. So let's take a look at the G3 first. Disassembly, trigger mechanism, firing mechanism and action. Let's cock the weapon, load the weapon, load the magazine. You, uh, optical sights, different parts, handguard, butt assembly, trigger mechanism, bolt. Nice disassembled diagram. This one is dated from uh, 1966. Really nice. And then we've got the Browning High Power Manual from 1958. A little bit faded, but not bad. Take a closer look at all these in future videos. This is just a quick video to take a look at them as they arrived. Ah, good, we've got some of the um, amendments pasted in, sellotaped in by the look of it. Some written in corrections as well this one's from the first light infantry at some point Lance Corporal Rari or Parry. He's done some corrections. Changing Army. War Office for Army. Very cool. Got another um, copy of this from around the same period in the collection as well, and we'll compare those when we do a proper video. Okay, lastly, this one that I'm really excited about. So this is a selection of really cool um, press photographs from the late 50s, early 60s of the Vickers Vigilant anti-tank guided missile. It's a first generation British anti-tank guided missile which is an area of interest that is becoming more and more um, important to me within my research and it's something I'm going to be looking more into uh, for the next few months I think. And these were press photos you can see, you can see where they've um, lined up what would be cut before print. Planet News Limited published by the Daily Telegraph in 1961 with the caption a close-up of an infantryman using the pistol grip sight with which he controls the flight of the missile small arms school corps officer speaking to a uh, West German Bundeswehr officer about the missile just have noticed that someone has misspelled vigilant on the back here as vagilant. So vigilant actually stands for visually guided infantry light anti-tank uh, missile. 
um, with the MB and Silent, of course. And had a relatively short-lived British uh, service life and was oh, that's great. more or less withdrawn by the late 1960s and replaced by Swingfire, another early British anti-tank guided missile. It's definitely a weapon system that I'll be taking a look at in more detail mm. here on the channel in the future. So there we go guys, thank you for joining me for another video looking at some of the new arrivals to the TAV reference collection. Um, I've done a number of these videos now and I've begun to take a look at a lot of the stuff from the collection in more depth and, and more detail in individual videos. And there'll be more of those coming up in the future. So, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you really enjoy the videos, please do support us via Patreon, it's very much appreciated. Catch you next time.